Friends, welcome to my workplace for hands-on FECO and SICS training. This is actually a hard cataract, but because of the red glow, it is appearing not so hard. Let us observe this surgery. The main incision has been placed on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now a side port is being placed on the left side of the main incision, about three clock hours away. Now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The microscope is OMS 90 from Topcon and the FACO machine I am going to use is Oatly Catrex 3. Capsulorexis is being done. The size of the rexis is going to be about 5.5 millimeter. And now, hydro dissection. I am afraid to do hydro dissection because there is opacity right at the center of the posterior capsule, subcapsular area. So, I did not rotate the nucleus mass, did gentle hydro dissection, and now again I fill up the anterior chamber with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now, the FECO needle is introduced into the anterior chamber. The exposed part of the tip is little more than in routine cases in soft cataracts. This cataract is really hard. And this is my technique submarine chop. The tip goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator. It crosses the central part and now this chopper is used to get a nice crack. I do not do a lot of lateral separation. Another chop here, I did not, in this case I did not rotate it 180 degree because I did not rotate the nucleus before this introducing the because the cataract appeared like posterior polar cataract. So, I get a piece and emulsify this piece and now the nucleus is rotating. Hydrodissection has occurred nicely by this time and I emulsify this piece. Another free piece has been obtained and this piece is being emulsified. By this time hydrodissection has occurred. Hoping that this is a posterior subcapsular cataract, not posterior polar cataract, I did gentle hydrodissection. If Pacerian occurs at the beginning, that is during hydrodissection, we have no other option. We have to convert the case to SICS. And now, this nuclear fragments are being chopped one by one. Ultrasonic energy being used is 80 percent. It is set at 80 percent, not 80 percent all the time. 80 percent in continuous mode and I am using the ultrasonic energy very judiciously, intermittently whenever needed. This is the technique when two pieces are not separate, just tilt it, apply a little energy at the apex or at the band joining the two fragments and the two fragments become separate. And this is the last nuclear piece. At this time, we have to be very careful. I decrease the parameter nowadays. Initially, the vacuum was 450, now it is 300. Flow rate was 45, now it is 30. So, during emulsification of the last nuclear piece, we have to be very careful. We should decrease the parameters and slowly emulsify the last piece. And now, 
cortical cleanup is to be done. I inject some visco. I have only one side port and this width of the side port is little more. It is about 1.7 millimeter and this is a 23 gauze Simco. It easily goes through the side port and we can remove the sub incisional cortex very easily going through the side port. Here it is. Go through the side port and remove the sub incisional cortex. If the side port is very small, we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration for the sub incisional cortex. And now, hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens will be done. Before that, this is enlargement of the main wound to about 3 millimeter. It was 2.8. I am using a B cartridge. If I do not enlarge the main wound, the lens may be stuck at the wound. And now the lens easily goes, it is placed in the bag, the lens slowly unfolds and now the haptics are placed 90 degree away from the main wound. This is a monofocal intraocular lens, moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber and then the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. A final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. At this time, whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is also removed. The anterior chamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.